I know, I know. It's May and I still have my Christmas tree up. What is up, witches? If you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Carolyn. It's very nice to meet you. I am obsessed with the Harry Potter wizarding world. I love doing DIYs. I love renovating or transfiguring rooms. I love home decor and anything nerdy and pop culture-like. If you like those kind of things, please hit the subscribe button to join our online family. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I want to welcome you guys all to a new series on my channel called House Sorting. You can expect to see a lot of organization, a lot of decorating, a lot of cleaning. That being said, in this first house sorting episode, you're going to see how I revamp my Harry Potter living room. We're going to put away my Christmas tree which has been here for eons. I don't know about you guys, but I find it so, so satisfying to see how other witches, wizards, and muggles organize their belongings. One of my favorite things to decorate with are my books. And since I have a lot of them, I wanted to create a beautiful and aesthetically pleasing home for my books. My friend Natalie, who is also a huge Harry Potter fan, will be decluttering and organizing her book collection along with her master bedroom. If you guys don't already follow her, please check out her YouTube, This and Nat. She is a teacher by day and an organizational dog mama by night. She is one of the absolute sweetest human beings that I know you will fall in love with. Anyway, no more waiting. Let's get into the video. Revelio, Welcome to the common room. As you can see, I still have my Ravenclaw Christmas tree up with the good old sorting hat that will need to be packed away today. This back area is going to be the main area of focus in this video since my bookshelf will be taking the place of my tree. I cannot wait to show you how I styled it with all my wizard paraphernalia. I am also going to be giving these wall shelves a refresh, putting away my mini Harry Potter pop figure tree, and switching out the wall decor. So let's address the elephant in the room. It's May in this video, it is now June as I am doing this voiceover, why the heck is my tree still up? In the Philippines, Christmas decor goes up in September, I might as well have just left it up. For those of you who don't know already, I lost my grandpa Christmas Day 2019. He was everything to me, but he got really sick last year. He was starting to get better, so I decked out this room for the holidays with a full-on renovation anticipating his return home, but that didn't end up happening. He did get to see photos and he was able to tell me how much he loved it, how proud he was of me, which is what drove me to create my channel. For grandpa, we always talked about making this old house into something we were excited to share with others. So here I am, Grandpa. I'm still chasing our dream. I'm still working on taking the basic out of our Baha'i. This video was so hard because putting away this tree was like packing away that gift that I never really got to give him. I wasn't ready, but it's been about six months and I felt I needed to dive into some kind of home project to get excited over, especially with everything that is going on in the world right now. Starting with my Christmas ornaments, which I am going to store away in these slotted containers I got on Amazon. This is where I will be housing all of my licensed Harry Potter Christmas decorations and the mini pop figures from my advent calendar that I made into ornaments. I'm going to put the bigger orbs in the larger container. I just love that it comes with these cardboard inserts so you can optimize the storage base and keep your ornaments protected because, you know, I balled out last year on a really nice tree and decorations. We never celebrated birthdays or holidays growing up, no get-togethers, dinner parties, nothing. I want to change that and bring new traditions that my family can be excited for. That's why even though Christmas is only a few months away, I want to be excited about bringing this back out once again. Let's clear off this bookshelf so I can reposition it and vacuum up all this flock because it just gets everywhere. 
Merlin's beard. This Dyson vacuum is freaking awesome. This is a V11 animal. I have five dogs, so this was an absolute must. I do have a decent canister vacuum, but it just doesn't hold a candle to this one. Plus, with my other vacuum, it was so annoying to have to deal with a cord and also worry about the little robotic end bumping into things. This one is light, rechargeable, it has a battery indicator, it gets every speck of dust and let's just be honest it's very pretty i was never so excited to vacuum my house every day until i got this with my favorite cleaning cushion brand i'm just going to wipe down my shelves before i start book styling i wasn't happy with how the eight cube shelf looked so i grabbed the other shelf we were using as a bench in my entryway and propped it up next to it now for the fun part, shout out to Miss K, my bestie for gifting me this amazing trunk of hardcover editions. They are one of my greatest treasures that will now live on top of my new Harry Potter shelf, along with some other decor that I'm shifting over from the mountain shelves. What is wizard decor without a little bit of magic? This is my favorite thing ever in my house. Not my room, not my office, this shelf. I love, love my books, so this just makes me so happy. I'm going to have bookstagram selfies for days, y'all. If you guys would like a more in-depth bookshelf tour where I share more of my favorite reads, let me know in the comments. Now my life's an adventure. A lot of the spooky-ish decor that you see in this video, like the little houses, light up witch hats, and potion bottles, I got in the Target Halloween clearance section. So if you are looking for some wizard decor, always check the clearance in the fall. I literally got these pieces for as low as 50 cents. To all my magical friends, if you haven't heard already, Natalie and I are hosting a Harry Potter reading challenge this summer over on Instagram. The goal is to read one Harry Potter book per week, although we have included some catch-up weeks in there. But if you're a Ravenclaw like me, you probably read a book a day, in which case you are more than welcome to throw in the Fantastic Beasts series or Cursed Child. Come join us in rereading the series together over on Instagram, or if you've never read the books before, I encourage you to participate and experience the magic for the first time. We'll be looking for all your fun book picks to share on our stories. Just tag us and use the hashtag HP Summer Reading Challenge. The first time I picked up Harry Potter, I purchased a box set of paperbacks from Target to take with me to the hospital to read while I visited Grandpa every day. I spent all day there with him, so these books were a heartwarming escape that I desperately needed during that difficult time. I remember the nurses always checking in with me, excited to see that I was reading it for the first time. Those were great memories. Elodia, if you're watching this, I love you so much. Thank you for taking such good care of Grandpa. I had always loved the movies, but the written words gave me a brand new appreciation for the Wizarding World. I told you guys this vacuum was bomb. It comes with all these attachments that make my life so easy. Our pits Maya and Hazel sleep in this room on their doggy beds, but I know they like to sneak up on the couch from time to time, so thank goodness I have this handy dandy Dyson. you guys like my plant, it's called a Don Hapashi because you don't have to do to take care of it. Plants just don't like me. Hufflepuff fan, please someone tutor me in Herbology. 
While the left shelf has some of our favorite Blu-rays, on the other shelf I placed the decorative box my illustrative copies came in, my Night Bus coin bank, Spectre Specs, and these marker holders that I'm using as a multi-wand stand. Pretty neat, right? But this room is still not witchy enough for me, so I'm going to glam this antique lamp up with some flying keys that I made. To make the keys look like they're flying around my lamp, I'm just using some clear thread, but if you have clear fishing line, that works as well. subtle Harry Potter look, but we still have one more area to touch up before we are all done. Hi Maya! To replace my pop figure tree, I picked up this beautiful combo plant pot and stand for this big tree. Artificial, of course. I'm also going to swap out the metal reeds for these floral Deathly Hallow reeds that I actually made a DIY video on. If you are interested in that video, I'll go ahead and link it here for you as well as in the description box. After playing with my puppies, I just have a few more things to tidy along with some vacuuming and then we were all done. Don't let them get the best of you. I was worried you blow my reputation. But the figure is not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you make me shiver, your yeah. hands on myself, I keep pulling the trigger, alright. This very thing for people like them. Oh no, no. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, click the thumbs up button to let me know and leave a comment with your Hogwarts house. Go check out Natalie's video to see how she organized her bedroom and books, and don't forget to join us in the reading challenge over on Instagram. I would love to have you come back next week for another magical cleaning video where I scorchify my bedroom and show you how I organize all of my clothes. I love you all so much. Please be safe out there. See you next time. Bye-bye.